So in the context of sub programs, we have already covered the procedures where we started something and we finish it means it was a complete process. But if you want to do some intermediate operation and you want to return some value, you can go for the functions. Functions are again a PLSQL block that returns a value. During the definition of a function, you will have to specify like which kind of value, which type of value you are going to return. Like the procedure, you can pass the parameters as well. But here, we will just try to use the in parameter. Means we will not return the value from the function throughout parameters. But here, we will use a return keyword for returning the value. And it can only return a one value. For invoking the procedure, we use the, we use the execute keyword. But here, we can use a function in select and in where clause. As while working with the select statement in the Oracle SQL video tutorial, we have already called some predefined functions with the select and in where clause. So similarly, when we will create a function, we will also call our function in the select and where clause. So let's see practically how to create a function and how to consume it. So let's have an implementation for the functions and here I have created a function using create or replace command and function as a keyword and the name of the function here is get tax amount. So what I'm doing here, I have passed a parameter of my name salary of number type and whenever I'll have to call this function, I'll have to pass a parameter of number type and in return it will give me a number. In the definition, I have not bound this particular function with any table, so you can call it with any table or with any literal value. So what I'll have to do is, I will just pass any salary amount and in return, it will return the value means the 10% of that salary amount. So let's execute this, the function is created, now I can call it with any particular uh, table. Let's say there's a command called select first name last name salary and let's say get tax amount salary from employees so as here you can see whatever we got in this output here is first name last name the salary let's say it's 4100 so the 10% is 410 right that's the tax amount so if you want you can use it with the calculation as well like you can subtract the salary with the uh, get tax amount so what I can do here I'll just do one thing I'll say minus and here I'll give an alias like in hand salary all right so here you can see it's the enhanced salary which will be coming to the employees right by deducting the tax amount on that so similarly you can just uh, de start creating the functions and you can use it as per your requirement